What's up guys? I have a uh, Hitachi ECU here that I need to try to clone uh, with Cass and I just figured I would uh, roll the camera for it. Um, so I've already got the main connections connected here. You can see my rainbow cable here. Uh, we got purple, brown, gray, white, yellow, black, blue, and red. And I also have the power and ground connected here. Uh, for some reason, I don't have the the adapter for my um, position and frame, but that's okay. Uh, so here's the connection. Very easy to solder, as you can see. Uh, very clean, and everything's kind of in there, nice and tight. Uh, there's one last thing I have to do, and I actually I missed this because I didn't read the instructions and. I went to identify and it wasn't connecting. I was like, man, what's going on? My Kess is failing me again. But uh, I see I missed. I have to solder three bridges right here. So uh, let's let's do that real quick, see what we got. Okay, now let's try again and see if we can connect. And I do see the light, so we still have no connection here. Okay, I did see the lights come on though. So let me take a look at my connection. That one's good. That one's all good. Make sure my bridges are right. That's looks right to me. Only one that may be uh a little fishy is this one. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try to identify and make sure our lights come on here. They did. Okay, there we go. So we did have a bad connection. I don't know why I had so much trouble getting those to connect. That's crazy. Um, so the first thing I want to do, I, so I need to clone the EEPROM from this to another unit. I don't want to carry the maps over as what I was requested to do. But I'm going to uh, read a backup and save a backup. And then I will uh, connect the next unit and then you know, just transfer the EEPROM over on that one. But uh, let's go ahead and hit read back up. All right, so here is um, our two files. We have the MPC file. And then we have the EEPROM, so one's going to be like the flash, and the other is going to be the actual EEPROM of it. Um, anyway, so this is the file that I need to send over to the other unit. I don't see much in this one. But uh, let's go ahead and get that hooked up. All right, so I've got my connections made, and I just want to go try to identify, make sure it's reading. So usually when it takes this long, it's doing good, and usually once you see that, you're good to go. Now, uh, we could read a backup of this one just to have it. Uh, it just takes, you know, an extra five ten minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then after I have that back up, I'll go ahead and write uh, just the EEPROM. All right, so that is done downloading. Now I'm just going to write uh, the replacement 
information and we're just going to do the EEPROM. All right, so that is all done. Uh, CAS 3 uh, had no issues here with this uh, Hitachi ECU with the Renaissance uh, chip in there. So, uh, yeah, there you go.